The Territory Wizard provides a step-by-step -step guide from data input all the way through to territory creation. Maptitude can handle all of your territory design needs, including creating territories from scratch, creating overlapping territories, creating territories with hierarchies, or creating territories based on tables, point locations, or existing map boundaries. To get started creating territories, click the New Workspace button or choose File, New Workspace to open the home window. Choose the Territory option here and click OK to launch the Territory Wizard. There are several ways that you can create your territory layers, which I will cover one by one in this tutorial. The first option creates an empty territory layer that you can use to create your territories from areas on a map. I'm going to click Next, and now choose an area layer, such as postal codes, counties, or states, to use to create the territories. I'm going to create territories using the zip code layer and click Next again. By default, there will be one level in the layer hierarchy. You can click Add Row to add more levels to your territory hierarchy, but let's just create a single level territory hierarchy. Finally, click Next and choose the fields that you want to track for your territories. For example, I'm going to click this button and choose Add Geography Layer Fields so I can choose some fields in the zip code layer to track. I'm going to track the population in my territories, so I'll choose Population and click OK. And finally, I also want to build territories that contain about 200,000 people, so I'm going to enter a balancing value of 200,000. When I click Finish, Maptitude opens a map with an empty territory layer and opens the Territory Manager, which I can now use to interactively create territories. I'm going to zoom in to make territories in the Minneapolis area. Now I'm ready to create my first territory, so I will click this button to add a new territory. Optionally, I can rename the territory or change the color that will be used to display it, and click OK. I can now use these tools to select some zip codes to include in this territory. If I click the Changes tab in the Territory Manager, you will see what the current population of the territory is and how far from my target. Now, if I click some zip codes, you will see these values adjust. And once the population is close to my 200,000 target, I will click this button to save the territory. I can repeat the process to create additional districts. Click Add New Territory, click OK, choose some zip codes to include, and save the territory. For more information, please see the separate video on working with the Territory Manager. The next method for creating territories is from a territory table. For example, I have an Excel worksheet that contains a list of zip codes, the sales rep assigned to each zip code, and the number of customers in each zip code. Again, I'll create a new workspace, choose the territory option, and click OK. When I choose to create the territories from my territory table, Maptitude prompts me for the file to use. So I'll choose the Excel file, click Open, and choose the sheet in the Excel file that contains the data. The next step is to choose the map layer to use to build the territories. Since my table contains zip codes, I will choose 5-digit zip code as the geography layer to use. The zip code layer has a field called zip that contains the zip codes, and you can see some examples of those values here. In my Excel file, the zip field contains the zip code values that match those in the geography field above, and you can see that Maptitude has already identified that field as the matching field, so I can go ahead and click Next to set up my hierarchy. My Excel table contains territories for a single level hierarchy, and the territories are defined by my sales representative, so I will choose the representative field here. Now I'll click Next, where I can again choose some fields to track in my territories. This time I want to track population and income information from the zip codes, so I'll choose Add Geography Layer Fields, choose the Buying Power and Population Fields, and click OK. And I want to track the number of customers in each territory, so I will choose Import Territory Table Fields, choose Customers, and click OK. When I click Finish, Maptitude creates a territory layer based on the table and displays the territories on the map. In the Territory Manager, you can see the data that I chose to track for the territories. Here is the total disposable income of the people living in each territory, the population living in each territory, 
and the number of customers. I can now use the tools in the Territory Manager to modify and balance the territories. For more information, please see the separate video on working with the Territory Manager. Finally, you can create territory layers from a point layer or an area layer in the map. This time I'm going to open a workspace that contains a map with my customers already located on it. The customer layer includes a field with the name of the territory each customer is in. I can illustrate this by creating a color theme on the customer layer using the territory field. Because I already have an open workspace and want to add territories to the map, I'll start the territory wizard this time by choosing Map, New Territory Layer. If my map contained an area layer of territories, perhaps imported from another GIS format, I could use this third option to create a territory layer from an existing area layer. Instead, I'm going to use this fourth option to create the territory layer from an existing point layer. Choose my customer layer, and click Next. I want to base the territories on zip code boundaries, so these map settings at the top are correct. The customer layer that I'm using includes a field with the territory and the district to which each customer belongs, so I'm going to add a level to the hierarchy, and Maptitude has correctly found the fields that identify the territory and district, so I can click Next and choose any fields to track, such as population. When I click Finish, Maptitude creates a two-level territory layer using the territory information in the customer point layer and displays the territories on the map. You can see that District 1 comprises the Downtown and South Territories, and District 2 comprises the Northwest and Northeast Territories. And that wraps up this video on creating territory layers with a territory wizard. Please see the separate video on working with a territory manager to learn how to modify the territory layers that you create.